Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Prayers. I hope you're having a lovely day and thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us in our worship of God at this time. I hope that you will be able to share through fully in the experience and that you have the words. If you don't, they're in the description box below the screen. We're just going to take a few moments to quieten our hearts before God. And we say together, God's love has flooded our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing praises to him, Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. And we're continuing our journey through the Psalms. And today we've reached Psalm 101. I will sing of your love and justice. To you, Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will conduct the affairs of my house with a blameless heart. I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part in it. The perverse of heart shall be far from me. I will have nothing to do with what is evil. Whoever slanders their neighbour in secret, I will put to silence. Whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart, I will not tolerate. My eyes will be on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. The one whose walk is blameless will minister to me. No one who practices deceit will dwell in my house. No one who speaks falsely will stand in my presence. Every morning I will put to silence all the wicked in the land. I will cut off every evildoer from the city of the Lord. Amen. And we now say together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And we're also working our way through the Gospel of John. And today we read John chapter 13, beginning at verse 31. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me in just as I have told the Jews. So I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, Where I am going you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? Very truly I tell you, 
Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Amen. And we're going to now pray together. And after this first prayer, there'll be a moment of silence for private prayer. So we say together. God of peace and protection, we put our trust in you alone. At all times and in every circumstance, we want to follow the way of your Son, who was moved to compassion. As he looked upon the world around him, therefore we come before you now to ask for your help and your intervention. And we pray in silence. And we say together, help us, your people, Lord, to act with faith and wisdom. May the peace of Christ that passes all understanding enable us to be peacemakers and bring peace to others. As Jesus served the most needy and most vulnerable, help us to serve those around us with love. When we have the opportunity to help, enable us to do it. When we need to make sacrifices, give us the courage to do so. When we ourselves are threatened, give us the grace to trust in you. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Amen. God, the wellspring of our life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace, that refreshed by you we may live this day in steadfast reliance on your strength, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, and of Christ who summons us to service, and of the Holy Spirit, who inspires generosity and love, be with us all. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock again. Take care. God bless. Bye.